The WordPress ecosystem is full to brim with amazing plugins. And today I'm going to go through and choose a selection of ones that I think you should check out. And also a kind of left field tool that I think is worth checking out if you want to avoid Google. Stick with me and I'll show you all of those in this video. Now, we know that the WordPress dashboard has not had a lot of love. And if you're handing this off to a client, it's not necessarily the nicest place to land upon. It's kind of boring. It's kind of in your face. We're going to take a look at Ultimate Dashboard Pro. Now, you may be thinking, Paul, you have already talked about this in the past and you would be 100% right. However, I wanted to bring this to the top of the list because there's been one major addition to this very recently. And this is something that I think if you're a Bricks user, you'll really appreciate. You can now use Bricks Builder to create your own custom dashboard panels. If we take a look at what I've got here, this is pulling in dynamic data, it's pulling in videos from YouTube, we've got a request form, we've got quick link actions go through to various different parts of our site. All of this has been created and customized using Bricks and Ultimate Dashboard Pro. So you'll see everything is color coordinated with the overall color scheme. We've got a form, so if someone needs support, they don't need to go and dig out our email. They can do it directly inside here. It'll show the latest posts, our getting started tutorial or any other kind of tutorial information. And there's our quick option. So we can write a new post, create a new page, all the things you'd like to do. So if you want to create something a little bit more streamlined, this is a great way of doing it. And all you need to do is hop over into Bricks, create a template inside there. And you can see we've just got a pretty simple layout. We've got some dynamic data that'll pull in the username of the particular user that's logged in. So it's always customized. Same thing goes for the profile picture and anything else you want to put in there. All really, really simple, totally scalable using all the great tools you have as part of Bricks Builder. And then all you need to do is hop out of this back into the settings for Ultimate Dashboard Pro. And inside there, you go into the Page Builder dashboard and you can see we've set up a custom dashboard. The other thing that's super cool about this is you may want to have a different dashboard for your administrators, your editors, your authors, contributors, subscribers, and any other user roles you may have. So you can customize this and pull in whatever template that you want. And then you can also use the Ultimate Dashboard Pro features to turn off things you don't want people to get access to, again, based upon user roles and all those kinds of good things. So if you're a Bricks user or an Elementor user, or you just want something that doesn't rely on any of those to customize the dashboard in a nice, quick, and easy way, check out Ultimate Dashboard Pro. Link in the description below. Now, next on our list is all about automating WordPress. Now, WordPress itself is great and has lots of functions and things like that, but there's going to be times where you want to connect it up to external services. For example, you may have a landing page where you want people to sign up, and then you want to send the information over to your email software like MailChimp, MailerLite, and so on. You may then also want to subscribe them to a webinar and a multitude of other different things, all on that simple action of just going ahead and creating a new user. And this is just one really simple example. I would recommend checking out Flowmatic. Now, I created a video on this very recently. I'll link that in the description below so you can check that out. And Flowmatic is basically a really simple way of being able to create automations, doing all manner of different things and connecting it up to a growing list of different features and functions and external services like Google Docs, MailerLite, MailChimp, and so on, and so many others. So if you want to get into this, and I would highly recommend you do take a look at that video because it will open up a world of possibilities of connecting your WordPress app to multiple different things. And even if you just want to stay inside WordPress itself, this again will open up a bunch of different options on things you can do when different actions and triggers are triggered. So check out the video on that so you can find out more about Flowmatic. Again, link is in the description down below. Now, if you're building a business around your website or your website is a key focal point for generating leads and so on, email is going to be a key factor. And this is where you're going to build up a mailing list and you want to keep in contact with people. And this is where you may want to check out MailMint. Now, the pro version has just been released, but I'm going to focus on the free version and the video I created a few days ago that will take you through how this all works. So if you're looking for an alternative to tools like MailerLite, MailChimp and so on that integrate into WordPress itself, and giving you total control over your users, the information and the data, then maybe MailMint is one to check out. It's very easy to set up, has a really nice editor to allow you to create and build out your emails. It's got a great way of segmenting things and the free version brings a lot to the table. The pro version brings an awful lot more. So you may want to check out that. Listed to that is in the link in the description below so you can check that out. However, if you are looking for a really simple, straightforward way that's GDPR compliant, make sure that you've got IP anonymization so you can make sure you adhere to all of those data protection things around the world, 
maybe check out Mailment and check out the video I released on it a few days ago. I think it's something worth checking out and keeping an eye on as this grows and develops, as it is relatively new. But it does come from the people behind WB Funnels, and therefore you know it's got a track record with a company that knows how to build software. Check it out, link in the description. Now, as your website grows, you'll find you're going to get a lot of extraneous information in your database, things like revisions and backups and all manner of different things. How do you handle that and stop your database from slowing down with all this stuff that, let's be honest about it, most of the time you're never going to need? This is where a great little free utility called WP Sweep comes in. I've been using this for many, many years, and I really like the simplicity of exactly how easy it is to work with. You don't need to have a degree in rocket science to understand what's going on. All you need to do is hop into the tools section and come into Sweep once you've got the plugin installed. Again, link in the description. And inside here, you can see we've got a breakdown of all the places that data can be stored and where and how we can clean it out. So you can see, for example, we've got revisions and auto drafts. It tells us the number we've got inside the website that we can have open. And we can go to details and find out more information about them if we want to. You can see it tells us what post or page this, these revisions are actually applicable to. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and you can sweep. In other words, you can delete them from the database, freeing up and cleaning up your database. You can also come in if you want to and come into the comment section, the user section. Again, you've got orphan user data, you've got duplicate metadata, all manner of different things. It gives you an overview of exactly what you've got stored in any of these different sections of your database. And if you want to, if you're comfortable, you don't have to go through these one at a time. You can simply go ahead and say sweep all. Now, before you do any of this, make sure you've got a backup in place. I would recommend WP Vivid Backup Pro. Again, link in the description below and link to the video where I've covered how to use it. Go ahead. Once you've done your backup, hit the sweep all and that will get rid of everything. Or you can, if you want to, go ahead and pick and choose exactly what you do and don't want to get rid of. And that, in a nutshell, exactly what WP Sweep does. Just easy way of cleaning up your database. You can then go ahead, you can optimize your tables to make sure that everything is totally optimized and your database is running as smoothly as possible without being bogged down with piles of useless junk. Next on our list is a plugin that I came across a few days ago and I've created a video on this one as well. Again, link in the description. And it's called WP Extended. Now, all this does is it's one plugin that installs multiple different mini plugins that have one job to do. Now, normally you'd install these as individual plugins. And the problem with that is it means you've got a bunch of plugins you have to maintain, update and manage to make sure you don't have any potential security issues. What this does is it gives you one plugin to update that manages all of those extra features. But what features are we talking about? Well, I've already gone ahead and installed it. And we can see inside the WP Extended module section, we've got a range of different plugins or features we can enable or disable. Common things that you will use in a lot of different websites. So you've got things like exporting posts and pages. So if you want to export content from one site to another, this is a really quick and easy way of doing it. You can export users in the same way. Duplicating pages and posts, something that I use an awful lot when I'm working with clients' websites or sites of my own, and I want a quick head start on something I don't want to start from scratch. You also got things like quick adding posts, post and page order, so you can easily drag and drop these around. You can also go ahead and add in code snippets to your headers and footers. It's very, very simple. It's not as comprehensive as something like Code Snippets or Code Snippets Pro. But if all you want to do is add some simple code to track a pixel or to add your Google Analytics or whatever analytics tools you're using into your header or your footer, this is more than enough to do just that. Now, you will see there are a range of pro features and there is a pro version in the works, but I haven't tested it. I've got no link to it whatsoever. I think the free version probably gives you enough for a lot of use cases. And you can go ahead. You simply go ahead, enable them, whatever feature or features you want, you can enable and they'll become active inside your dashboard. There's no saving. There's no faffing about. It's all done really simple. And if we come over to the plugins and we go take a look at the install plugins, you'll see all we have is WP Extended, even though we've added those extra features inside this plugin. So that's one plugin to update, manage, and maintain. So a lot less stress and hassle keeping all these things up to date. Now, the final thing on my list is nothing to do with WordPress at all. Or it kind of is, but it, it let me just explain. If you don't want to use Google, but you still want to grab analytical data about the visitors, what they're doing, tracking things like UTM codes and stuff like that, Maybe Fathom is something you want to check out. Now, I've moved over to Fathom for my sites over the last couple of weeks. And I've been testing it on and off over a couple of months, and it's incredibly simple to use. It gives simplified data. You don't get bogged down by this 
tons of information that gets thrown at you, which, let's be honest, most human beings don't understand what the hell is going on in Google Analytics. We use probably 0.1% of the data. This gives you that 0.1% of the data. Once you've gone ahead and you install it into your website, you're going to get a nice dashboard to work with. So as you can see, it already looks considerably easier to work with than using something like Google Analytics. Yeah, sure, you don't get all the abundance of data analytics and so on, but most of us, like I say, never even use it. You've got this information across the top about the number of people on the site, the number of visitors. You can set the period that you want so you can have the last seven days, months, you know, all those kinds of things, all available and custom ranges if you want to. You can have multiple sites. You can see I've got four sites in here at the moment. And if you want to view all your sites to get an overview, a bird's eye view of everything, you can do that inside here as well. You can drill down into an individual site and we can see the visitors that we've had in a period of time. We can see the views, the average time, the bounce rate, the event completion, those kinds of things. And we can find out where they're coming from, what they're landing on, the referrers, all the stuff you want. Now you may think, well, this is really, really simplistic, but you can, if you want to, drill down even further. So you can click inside and then you can find out where they're referred from, the browser type, the desktop, mobiles, tablets, the countries of origin, all that information. If we come back out, clear those filters, we can see where they come into, what they land on. But for me, one of the most important things is I can manage events and I can manage UTM campaigns. And what exactly does any of that even mean? Well, if you run an e-commerce, for example, you can set up events. So when someone goes to the thank you page after they've completed a sale, you can set that event up and then you can track that. You can apply the amount of money that this is actually worth for each one of those. So you can track how much money you're making, the completions, those kinds of things. And if you do an online marketing, so for example, you may be using, like I do, YouTube videos or email shots or things like Facebook, Twitter, and so on. I can track all that information inside you. I can view the campaign. I can view the source, the medium. All this information is available to me just by setting up simple UTM links. Now, don't worry if you think, what the hell is a UTM link? How the hell do I start that? You can come in, you can build one directly inside Fathom. And all it really means is, what's the link you want to send it to? What's the name of the campaign? So it could be a specific campaign name, or it could be just a general catch-all for Facebook and one for Twitter and one for LinkedIn and so on. Then you can choose the source of the campaign. So where does it come from? Google, Twitter, whatever. The campaign media, was it an email? Was it a banner advert? What was it? And then your campaign content, if you want to, things like A-B testing. And if you want to put a term in for the campaign, you can do that. But once you do that, it'll build out this URL for you. You simply copy it and that becomes trackable and you can track that inside of Fathom itself. It's really, really simple and straightforward, but massive value when you're looking to see what your return on investment is for the different ways in which you advertise and promote content or products, services, whatever. And that's the final in this list. Fathom is one I think you should check out if you're looking for an alternative to Google Analytics and you want to take serious the whole compliance with data storage and those kinds of things. But as always, all the applicable links are in the description. Let me have your feedback. Do you use any of these tools? Have they opened your eyes to things you didn't know about? Let me know in the comment section. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tets and until next time, take care.